Download the Yarbo app and register an account. Log in to the account. Add the Yarbo, open the rear cover and scan the QR code to connect Yarbo with the app. Assemble RTK set. Please make sure that the RTK set is powered on and has been screwed in place with the antenna has at least 120 degrees view of sky. Connect the RTK cord and the LoRa cord with the RTK base. Gently attach the LoRa antenna with two fingers. Assemble your Yarbo. Please make sure finish assembling the Yarbo according to the instructions before mapping. Connect Yarbo Wi-Fi, access the phone settings and connect to the Yarbo Rover's hotspot. The hotspot name should appear as Yarbo Rover XXXX and input the password 87654321 for the initial connection. Return to the Yarbo app. Click the I've Connected button, please wait patiently for Yarbo to initialize. Follow the instructions, select the installation location of docking station. Please make sure the network and the GPS signal is strong. Please drive Yarbo to the designated location and click here it is. Proceed to install and power up the fixed docking station. Place the control unit, charging unit and the slope upside down and tighten all 12 bolts. Flip the docking station on the desired location. Secure the docking station. For soil or grass surface, use grass pegs. For concrete or brick surfaces, use expansion bolts. Lastly, save the position of the docking station. Back the Yarbo onto the docking station and click Save Position button. Congratulations! All preparatory work has been completed. Now, we can begin mapping our yard. Proceed with mapping the pathway. The app screen will display a red pedestrian icon on the right side when Yarbo detects any person passing by. Please ensure that the network icon and RTK signal icon are consistently green. There is no need to worry about drawing an incorrect pathway as it can always be redrawn. When Yarbo reaches the working area, we should click the next button to move on to the next step. Now we should start mapping the working area. Please note that the pathway line is represented in blue, while the working area line is white.
there is no need to manually control Yarbo to map the entire area, as the working area can be automatically closed by clicking the next button. Then slide along the boundary of the working area to select the direction of the snow throwing. Now, please select the route mode. We have the option to choose between the single mode and the circular mode. The single mode represents our working area in a rectangular shape. The circular mode indicates that our working area is either round shaped or irregularly shaped. Next, we can click the button to create a no-go zone within our designated working area. Proceed by directing Yarbo to move forward to the no-go zone and click the start button. Please ensure that the no-go zone is set strictly within the boundaries of our working area. Once the no-go zone is successfully mapped, click on the next button. Then we will be presented with three options, unfinished, add more areas, and the last option to create another no-go zone. Finally, click the finish button and assign a name to the plan. Initiate the work plan by sliding the start button, be careful when the plans start working. Yarbo will autonomously exit the docking station. Please exercise caution during this process. But if we want to adjust the plan setting, it is necessary to conclude the current plan first. Proceed to the work plan setting page to modify parameters such as speed, overlap, and auger minimum height. Additionally, the option to configure a double clean plan and adjust terrain records is available. Once these modifications are made, the work plan can be initiated once again.